Hi guys, it's Sam and I am going to be doing what I hope becomes kind of a series on my channel and that is about cruising. This video is going to be all the new things that I bought, some things that are kind of random and I was researching a lot on what people brought with them, what they recommend, what are their top 10 items and there's a few here and there that they have influenced my decision and just some other things that I needed from um, uh, for my for my toiletry bag and things like that. So let's get started. The first thing I want to share with you are my nails. I did get them done today. I'm getting I'm going on the cruise pretty soon, so I wanted this to be done. Um, I did I went with the pale nude. There's a hint of pink in there, more nude, but I just I love them so much. I was gonna go with white. I usually do white on my nails, but I thought I would do a different color. And my sister was like, those are perfect because they're good for vacation, but also when you come back from vacation, which I thought was a really nice thing to say. And then on my toes, I did get white though. I just love white because in the summertime, on your nails, just because they pop, and as your skin gets more tanned, it just looks really good. So yeah, let's get started. One of the new things that I can't show you right now is because I have a bunch of stuff in there is my away suitcase. I got the one in white and the size medium and I got Steve the one that's the navy color in the bigger one. And if you buy, away is pretty expensive. If you buy, uh, if you buy two, they give you a discount and then I think there's a $20 discount code somewhere. So not, it's a pretty good savings, but it's still, I would say pretty expensive for luggage, but they say it's a lifetime guarantee, warranty. So can't beat that. And you have a hundred days to return if you don't love it. Um, but I will show a picture of the luggage possibly on my Instagram. If I remember my brain lately has been super fried. I've been really stressed out at home. There's a lot going on. So if I, if I sound like I'm um, like slurring or I sound kind of cuckoo, my head is a jumbled mess right now. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you is my where is it? My GoPro Seven. And I got this as a gift for my birthday. I was actually going to return it, but I decided to keep it. And I'm excited to have it because I could use this in the water and when I'm at the beach or I'm doing like a water excursion. So um, that's what I plan to do. And also time lapses during the cruise, like sunsets and other things like that. Next thing is a GoPro accessories bag. And I got this off of Amazon. It has a million things in here head mount chest mount bobs and other kinds of screws a tripod but the one thing that i was really looking for was excuse me was the water handle or the water bobble um so you don't lose your gopro in the water i've watched many videos where a lot of people use that and it's just a safe thing to have for your gopro uh and to continue with the water theme i got a pair of goggles it's just one of those things that i like to have doesn't necessarily mean that i'm going to use it but i like to have a pair of goggles and i just needed a new one and i kind of wanted clear ones like this. this these are the hydro specs classic our best fitting leak proof goggle so i got those and i these are, these are speedos and I gave my other Speedos to Steve. Or Speedo to Steve. Um, then we have water shoes. We are going to be doing a waterfalls excursion and it includes like light hiking and I definitely did not want to wear regular sneakers for this. So we all got a pair of water shoes. This is by the brand Swamp Land. I think I'm not a hundred percent sure uh, if you look up water shoes by the way on Amazon all the water shoes are apparently the best water shoes ever and I don't know why my camera went so dark that's weird I'm not sure is it because it turned 11 o'clock no sorry <laughs> 
back to being sane again. Uh, so these are super comfortable, flexible. They also have drainage holes and I did practice wearing them in the shower just to see uh, how they would feel and they feel pretty good. So number one thing for me is comfort and they fit really well and hopefully they will work um, we're going, it's hiking and pouring waterfall. So, uh, then we have a bunch of things from my sister. She was so nice and got me a few things. The first is this Shiseido Ultimate Sun Protection Lotion Bra Spectrum SPF. That Caribbean sun, my friends, is no joke. My goodness. It... It's just something about it. It's so different than the sun here. It's something extra. So I always want to have SPF. And don't forget like the spots like above that you don't really think to remember. Like the spots above your ears and your tops of your toes and just like hard to reach places. You can't forget that. Steve, he's been burned every time we go away because he thinks it's not something serious, but I am very serious about skincare and like burning, especially at the beginning of the cruise. You don't want to burn at the beginning because then it just makes your, this makes for not a fun time. So I got that. And also where's the other thing here for the sun? This is Trader, jo Trader Joe's moisturizing gel with aloe vera. I'm gonna assume there's four of us going. I'm gonna assume one of us is going to need this. And that's the great thing about bringing toiletries on a cruise is you don't need to worry about size restrictions. Not that we need something this big, but I like knowing that we have that with us. Then my sister also got me this hat from, I believe, Amazon. It's it's a baseball cap and it says Race, resting beach, <laughs> resting beach face. I thought that was hilarious. I don't normally wear baseball caps, but I'm really loving this. I think I'm going to wear it. Next, she got me another, a bunch of head things, actually. That's funny how things work out, right? Uh, I mentioned to her, I was trying to get us Turby Twist, but they just have a bed bath is where I normally get it, but they were selling this, the Turby Twist and a bath, um, a shower cap, and I don't need shower caps. So, um, she found these at Harmon's. It's a gray and it's a light kind of like peach color. I'm going to bring this with me on the cruise. I was just going to bring one, but you know what? I don't plan on using the laundry room. So I thought this was, she said she's going to bring about three, but I, I don't want to waste space for three tur tur I was going to say turdy twist. Steve calls it that. Cause sometimes if you don't get them completely dry, they start to smell funky. Also, she got me this alpaca or llama. I think it's alpaca, so actually. Super cute. So this could be a scarf or you could wear it around your, like our, my sister I know wears it around her, um, like her blouse shirts. Or you could do it as a headband, which I plan on wearing like on beach days when the wind gets your hair all crazy. So she got me that and then, oh, a luggage tag she's so sweet look how funny that is a luggage tag and oh another headband thing so i'm gonna bring both of those because why not uh and then the last thing i think she got me was a personal fan this is the rechargeable handheld fan don't have to worry about batteries there is a couple of items that i'm going to bring batteries for uh but i'm going to switch them here i'm not going to bring extra batteries with me but i am bringing things that need batteries uh so this has three oh this one has to be charged this has three settings i believe and one time when i was on a cruise we it was so hot in there and we asked the, our room server like what's up with this air conditioning and they sent somebody with this device and they went up there and it was like oh no it's working but I had read after the cruise because it felt like it never got cool after that I read that it's impossible for a cruise ship to give everybody in a cabin like control to access their own like heat and air so I don't know how true that is but I'm bringing this this is also for if we're on the boat anywhere and it's hot but I don't remember that being a problem on the cruise when we we're out sun tanning or anything because you are on the water so it's never um as hot as if you were like at the beach or something 
Okay. Then we are moving on, I feel like, to the things that... You know what? Let's start with this. These are a bunch of mosquito repellent bracelets. I'm going to bring a couple with me. Again, I don't recall having a mosquito problem, but I didn't really do excursions that were in the forest or anything like that. And uh, But I thought I would just bring this and I have regular bug spray as well. And this lasts for 350 hours. I'm going to bring one for my leg and one for my arm. Next is travel size Listerine bottle. Uh, I just want, I have another bottle, but I just wanted to get a new one of the one that my doctor recommended, my dentist recommended to me. Also, a uh, travel size contact solution. I didn't need to buy these things, but I'm also not going to bring like that huge bottle of Listerine and that huge contact solution. But what I will bring, that's a full size, they didn't have a smaller one of this brand. Method hand soap. This is another thing that I found that was a common thing on people's list of must have to bring for cruising. And this one smells so good. It's a waterfall waterfall scent. And I just feel like it's kind of a nice thing to have on your sink is your own soap. And I'm gonna have to tape this down, maybe saran wrap it just so that in case there's leakage, cause that is going into my checked. Actually, should I bring that with me onto my carry on? These are things that I've just constantly, my mind is constantly thinking like about that kind of stuff. I that might be on my carry-on. Uh, next is these ginger chews. I don't really get seasickness or motion sickness, but I thought, you know what? There's always a first and I'm gonna bring these. And this is not just for me, this is gonna be for everybody that's with us. We, me, so it's me, my boyfriend, my sister and her boyfriend, we are on the same floor, but like we're separated by a room, which is awesome. I'm so glad we're on the same floor. Also got Bonine. And I heard this is better than Dramamine. I don't know. Less drowsy than original Dramamine and it's raspberry flavored. But again, I don't, I don't get seasick. Hopefully this one will be no difference. And next is a waterproof phone case. They came in four. Um, Steve doesn't want one, but I remember using it a few times last year, so I am, and it's smaller than the other one that I had. This one is much smaller. They're not particularly the best for like, you know, I wouldn't want to text in there, but if you want to bring your phone into the water with you and not leave it on the beach or wherever you are with water, it works just fine. Uh, then... Now, this is probably the one thing that it's just, why did you get that? Even I'm asking why I got that, but I just got into my head that, like, I'm like, I just need it. It's a pair of binoculars. The first ones I ordered were, like, huge. It was, like, just too voyeur, kind of, like, why or do you have these huge binoculars? So, I got ones that fit my hand like this. And I don't know. I just thought that maybe it will be cool because we did get a balcony room. I don't know if we'll see, like, really cool sea animals or, you know, la uh, the last cruise I saw dolphins and I kind of wish I had. They were for a split second, but if I had binoculars, I would have probably used them to look out at the sea, and maybe I'll see birds and during excursions. I don't know. I just thought it was something that I wanted to have, and all of these things are not just for cruising. They could be for other vacations, and yeah, I don't know. Um, another thing that's on people's list that is a must have is extra outlets. Cruises are infamous and older ships especially, which I'm going on is an older ship. This is a non-surge power strip. Looks like that and I tested it, all of them work. And I thought we might have been getting another USB port one, just USB ports, but we got a mixture of both. And I feel like they, you always, never know until you get on the ship what you're gonna get hopefully there's one by like usb about our bed um i know the newer oh god sorry i was leaning too hard on the thing uh and it's gotten heavy with all my stuff i that scared me i um heard that the newer newer ships have a bunch of more ports and outlets and things like that but this one um looks pretty good uh we're not 
I mean, we are bringing sort of like a lot of electronics, but nothing too crazy, I feel like. And I'm going to charge a lot of things ahead of time. And then the very last thing that's also on cruise uh, people who cruise must have lists is some type of water bottle flask kind of uh, I said flask because that's in the name of this but water bottles thermoses tumblers I got this hydro flask 24 ounce tumbler with a regular lid and I'm knowing me I'm very extra so I got myself the one with the lid and the straw uh, just feel that I, I could see myself wanting a straw with like if I make an iced coffee or if I have like some type of other drink in here and I got for our all of the people that are going on the cruise I got them a hydro flask tumbler as well Steve might not be bringing his we'll see maybe he will but that is everything new almost everything new there's something coming on Monday from Costco I think I mentioned the 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 thank you farmer sunscreen or sun cream uh, for my face and yeah that's almost everything that I got that was new for my cruise I'm have to start really packing out and putting together outfits and trying things on seeing what fits and uh, bathing suits and all that stuff um, I definitely don't want to overpack um, but that's a huge problem of mine. I feel like it's just a problem that women have just because we, we're going away, home away from home where everything is and we don't want to have to be without something. So hopefully I can do a pretty good job. I do have a medium sized suitcase so I don't have to be as strict as strict as I was before, restrictive as before in packing, but I also don't want to overpack because I want to get some gifts, not a lot, um, but I don't wanted to be so full that I'm struggling to close it and things like that so let me know what kind of upcoming videos you want to see from me I know I want to do a room tour I want to show you around the ship the ports we're going to three ports I want to show you our sea days what we eat and, and towel animals of course because that's just it's mandatory to put in all your videos our towel animals and yeah so I hope you guys enjoy this video tell me what your like the most important thing to bring on a cruise uh that you have found uh, when you were cruising so yeah i'll see you guys soon and i hope you are having a great summer bye